five time management tips for students and working professionals. So there is this entire thing about time management. I think all of us have this really unique uh, relationship with time. Uh, we could be hating time. We could be in love with time. And truth be told, people who really manage their time well are actually always on the top of their time. The thing with time management and being productive is the first assumption of the fact that you are in control of your time that you are in control of your time. Nobody else is controlling for you. Many a times you will hear uh, students and working professionals saying that I am really busy. I'm not finding time for this. So I think that's not the right uh, lingo or the language that you should be using with time. If you're always in control of your time, you should be able to find time for the things that you absolutely love. And uh, I think uh, time management, if done very beautifully, it could aid in acing exams, it could aid in your career, it could definitely make sure that you have time for your loved ones as well. With that, let's directly jump into the five time management hacks for you as a student or a working professional. The first has to be around prioritization. Oh my, I think this is the biggest learning that I took away during my 30, uh, 20s. So there is this thing saying, if you have more than three priorities, you do not have a priority. Let me repeat. If you have more than three priorities, you do not have a priority. And I think it is just so beautifully said. Um, if you are someone who is just trying to achieve a lot in the day, then you are setting up uh, yourself for failure, right? For example, do, for today, right? I was very sure that I'm going to be doing YouTube videos and that's the highlight of my day. Uh, if I were to be extremely candid and personal, for me, when it comes to three prioritization, the first one is health. I have to do 10 minutes of yoga and I have to go for 15 minutes of run every day. And you may think that Shatakshi is just doing 25 to 30 minutes of uh, workout but here am I who's weightlifting for one hour every day I'm a huge fan of doing small tweaks in my routine but doing them for two to three years for example I've been doing 10 minutes of yoga for almost two and a half years now it keeps myself calm my breathing is extremely normal um, I've had breathing issues by the way sometime when the second wave of COVID happened so on and so forth but largely what I'm trying to say is when I am trying to prioritize just three things and first one is around health, I just have two more left. So for example, if the second one is about my highlight of today is shooting these videos, then I'm just left with one more thing. I will not have four more things for the day because I know then eventually I'm just setting myself up for failure. And that's the entire mantra I use at a monthly level, at a weekly level, and at an yearly level. There are certain themes that I have. For example, I'm soon going to be making my uh, to-do list for 2022. And similarly, I make my to-do list at a monthly level and at a weekly level, at a daily level. The themes do not ever move beyond three. If you try to achieve a lot of things, I think you set yourself up for failure. And that's why trying to do just three things, and for me, it, one has always uh, been around health, that almost leaves me with the two other things. But at least that keeps me extremely calm, extremely patient, and extremely, um, I would say, um, well, it just prioritizes my well-being as well. So that's point number one. We move towards point number two, which is calendar usage. I am absolutely obsessed with putting everything from minor things such as having a meal to doing my yoga to having a call with my team members at Global Governance Initiative to doing my own learning to enhance my venture and all of them are on my calendar. Um, I'm happy to actually put a screenshot of my calendar in this video and I've always maintained if there is any topic within time management that you're struggling with put it in the comment box and I'm happy to actually uh, make another video around that but of course I need proof of concept if there are sufficient number of people who are making such a who are requesting for the video feel free to actually I would request you to watch till then because I'm going to be as always sharing a hack so that you can manage your time beautifully well and which brings me towards the third point which is about saving your mornings save your mornings save your mornings they are the biggest asset right um, I always aim to not schedule any external calls with anyone else my mornings are always dedicated towards myself I will do yoga I will go for running and I will read books right really high quality books they could be about private equity they could be about entrepreneurship they could be just about habits as well but I'm always continuously learning and growing I do not allow any anyone to disturb my mornings and that means if you're for example a working professional preparing for GMAT and GMAT is the hardest thing that you have to do in the day please prepare for GMAT in the initial two hours right and if you are a student and who is preparing for exams and you're finding it hard to actually be productive please do the hardest assignment or the hardest quiz at the start of your day because your mind
mind is at its highest productivity and the mind is really high uh, is at the highest uh, motivation so that is the third time management tip for all of you which brings me towards the fourth point it is not really rocket science but and truth be told many times i also struggle with this which is <clears throat> sorry around sleeping on time your mornings cannot be productive if you're sleeping late uh, truth be told for example i'm in us right now and i'm uh, managing a lot of my work in indian time zone that makes me actually uh, take few calls which could be late in the night as well but i always prefer to manage them somehow so for example they're always scheduled later than 10 am i uh, 10 am my time est uh, but at the same time it's always my objective to try to hit bed by 12 uh, midnight but when i was in india i would always try to hit my bed by 11 um, if you are not in as rare situation as i am i'm sure that you could hit your bed by 10 30 or 11 10 30 could be a um, extreme circumstance especially in today's day and age but uh, if you're doing it that's really lovely but if you could hit your hit your bed at around 11 i'm very sure you would be able to very smoothly wake up at 6 a.m and then 6 a.m to 10 a.m could be just your hours nobody should be able to touch them which brings me towards the last point which is around creating a checklist i send emails to myself uh, so for example today's schedule is on my email um, the top email on my email inbox is to do's for tuesdays i'm shooting this video on tuesdays and there are two do's right i said three prioritization one is about um, hitting uh, to go for a run second is about shooting this video and third for example is about certain financial planning that we are doing for global governance initiative and i send these emails very free frequently and periodically to myself uh, i know to do's li to do list is becoming little cliched and little outdated but they will never become outdated for me it's been almost five years that i've been operating on to do list and they are the biggest time management hack for me for example when i will end my tuesday i have a weekly to-do list for example and the entire weekly to-do list has been staggered uh, um, along monday tuesday wednesday till of course sunday but at the end of tuesday i will send an email to myself again for to-do list on wednesday so for example when i open my email box i do not even have to think what do i need to do right now so my mind is freed up of the unnecessary decisions that one needs to take what should i do at 9 a.m or what should i do at 11 a.m um, that's largely it if you like this video please click a thumbs up uh, subscribe to the channel because i intend to put so many such videos around productivity around career advancement and personal finance take care and stay safe bye subscribe right now so that you get notified every time every day whenever i'm putting up my videos on career advancement personal finance and lots of productivity hacks